Não, ele não. Be cool. Be cool, Breeze. Mas. You're excused. I see you now. Cut to so be back in my own bed. Yeah, I can feel just how much you hate sleeping next to me. No! What did you feel? <laughs> I like it when you turn red. So good. And Rafa? Boys and girls train and fight together. Side by side. That is precisely why you will use the war. It's not natural for girls to fight. Oh. No. <laughs> Again, the two characters for who they are, what they are representing, and how are interesting. But this and him, what he's saying, I don't know. The wagon matches the one that supports the other. Good call, good call, guys. You're clever, you're organized. I love that. Did you hear that? So stop hiding and challenge me. Just there. Shooting me in the same spot is clever, but ineffective. Wait, fight. You're not gonna kill him. He said that. The best. Cast it. And Zoya is. Clever boy! Clever boy! Nash! I'm going to hear this place by before you pull this out. Or you'll be out in 30 seconds. Very trash. How dare you? No. I'm afraid of the consequences of that, you know, for her. Uh... Hey! Hmm? This too? I know you kidnapped my son, son. He tried. She followed. It's complicated. She fled on her own. Where is she? Away. It was pretty clear she wasn't interested in being a captive anymore. <laughs> The anima is important. She's probably halfway to Novia's end by now. We smile! What, 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 what is it? What a fucking trick that you just used, Cass. It was like a magician, you know, like... And I'm disappearing. Can't get far through enemy treatment already. Stabilize your corruption. Boo boo boo. You're Your friends died. Oh. Oh, I didn't think about the families. You're gonna make him cry again. I didn't think about the families. I 
the ring take the ring off I have a bad feeling about that ring to amplify his power or to be sure that you're not just gonna amplify yours I was beginning to like the moment, you know, because of your smiles. They were good smiles. It's gonna save you. I'm gonna need more, guys. More of these sweet moments. No, she's with Mal. I knew it. That is really good. Oh? Yeah. I made some stupid choices at the little palace. Um. Dumb. I'm the That's what keeps safe. Is loyal to you no matter what. You know now that they are together. Are you jealous? Yes, it is. I know that I was fangirling too much during this episode <laughs> but really come on that was an episode for shippers you know shippers are gonna ship and I'm okay with that I'm not someone who is against it you know who is against to ship some characters with each other I'm not watching shows for that that's never a reason enough for me to watch a show and if you are Following my channel, you know that I'm reacting to a lot of shows in which I don't have any ship. Even if there is a love relationship, I'm not shipping people with people because I'm not watching shows like that. But sometimes there is some love relationships which are getting into my heart and I cannot hide that I have a crush on their love relationships, so I'm shipping them. I'm not blaming myself for it. It's made for that also, you know, and that's okay. But uh, yes, come on, that was an episode for shippers. <laughs> I mean, Mal and Alina, we spent all of the episode, almost all of the episode with the two of them together, being reunited, telling stuff to each other, being mad at each other at first. Oh, I didn't like that. Yes, you wrote letters to each other. Yes! You wanted to be reunited. 
and yes, you are reunited and you are taking care of each other and that's all great. Oh, I love the fact that Mal he doesn't care about what she did with Alexander and all. Maybe when he's gonna learn it truly, that's gonna be something different. <laughs> but for now, he doesn't care. He doesn't want to know because she is his friend, and he fought so hard to be with her, to be reunited with her, and to be sure that she was okay and safe. She is with him. She's safe. That's the only thing that counts for him. So we had this ship, we had Nina and her boy. I'm sorry to say that I was annoyed most of the time that they were on screen. I'm sorry to say it because I think that a lot of fans of the books and also of the show, I think, are shipping them and I can understand why you can ship them because their characters, for who they are, you know Nina, she has a big mouth, she has this attitude, she's a Grisha. Her story also is the fact that she was hired by Kerrigan to do that and that. Her story is really interesting. And her boy, Matt, I'm gonna name him Matt, is also interesting because of the fact that he's a Fjerdan and he's the first one that we are meeting truly and we can discover how they are functioning, how they are thinking. I don't like that. They have a fucking racist and patriarchal way of life that I can't agree with but at least because of him we know how they're functioning how they're thinking and all and maybe if we can change his mind and maybe with the help of Nina we can change things with the fear dance I don't know I'm thinking that without really thinking of it like really it's a theory that I believe in too at one percent but for who they are, their characters, they are interesting. As you know, Matty was taught to sing like that since he was a kid, so it's also interesting to see that. So for who they are, what they are representing, it's great. For the fact that they are together and that they can change each other, that's great also. And for their journey, their adventure, it's also interesting because we're going to discover that other side, you know, of the map, <laughs> of the situation, of the world, so it's good, you know, their characters this relationship, this story, okay, I'm okay with it, I'm okay to discover it, okay. But that kind of relationship and how it happened and how quickly it happened also, I'm against it. You know the Stockholm Syndrome between a prisoner and the person who kidnapped, captured him or her, I'm against that. That way also it's to push, you know, for me that way of you have to come close to me all naked to be warm and all. I mean, it's good for fanfics, don't get me wrong. I loved a lot of fanfics which were like that when I was a teenager. So it's good for fanfics. For a show like this one, like I'm seeing this one for now, no, it's not fitting with the mood of the show, with the atmosphere of the show, with the story that they are writing. All of this universe, all of the rules of this universe, all of the stories, the different stories with Kirigan, with Alina being the Sun Summoner, with all of that, even with Kaz, Inej and Jasper, all of that is so serious. And also the love relationships that can exist already are which are gonna happen between Alina and Mal, between Alina and Kirigan, between Kaz and Inej. These love relationships, which already exist, are so well written because they are deep, because they are already intense, because they are taking time and they're gonna take more time. So that's why this love relationship that Nina and Matt have together is making me feel like it's too quick and not so serious and not something that I have to take seriously and not something important or interesting. Do I understand what I mean? In another show, maybe I would have loved it. In a fanfic, I would have loved it. But right there, in a show which is made like that, with serious stories, you know, adventures for all of the other characters and also serious 
love relationships between other characters which are deeper and more intense, this story and this love relationship is feeling less interesting and important in comparison, you know. So that's why during all of this time that they were doing that and all, I was annoyed or I was just not interested by it. At the end, they got me a little, you know, because of the way that they smiled to each other. That was cute. And after that, we had this moment when she fallen all, she, he saved her, like this is the proof that there is something. I'm gonna need more of that, more cute moments like that, more really deep moments also like that between these two to to believe into it to be more interested by it i think that some of the fans who are already shipping them are going to tell me that what they lived together before that was already intense you know the fact that they were lost into the sea and they had to work together to survive yes that was already intense but for me it was not really building their relationship it was just to survive i don't know how to explain it but see, I'm honest with you because I can be scared of what some fans are gonna think about what I just said. It's like that. I felt it like that. Inesh killed someone else. I don't like that. I don't want that. What it means for her, you know, to kill someone, we know it. I know that it's important and something that she doesn't want to do. I want to know why. Um, to have more information about that, but I'm scared of when she's gonna tell it. And also of the consequences of it, you know, she just killed two persons who were brother and sister. Oh. I'm afraid of the consequences of that action for her. For Montel, you know, I'm afraid. They managed to escape, these three. So they are not with Alina. Okay, it's gonna have to wait, why not? You know, this four, this five maybe, with Mal being reunited, being together. I was not expecting them to work together, to be friends just like that in one second, in one episode. I'm glad that they didn't do it. I wouldn't have believed into it if it was the case. But at least I would have appreciated for them to... to be close to each other, you know, to follow each other. Right there, not at all. What are you gonna do now, guys? I think that they're gonna still go after Alina. So everyone, Alina and Mal, they want to search for the stag. Kirigan, he knows it and he's gonna do the same for him, but also to find Alina. And I think that Kaz group, they're gonna do the same. Not for the stag, but for Alina. No matter what, everyone is following Alina. It was already the case with everyone being reunited in the little palace. And now it's the same with everyone going to that place where the stag is for Alina. That episode was a confirmation of who Kirigan is. I mean, who he is, I said it during the intro, I was sure of it. But also, how he's thinking and all, what he said to Zoya. What does he want with David? He said that David could be useful after, like... Hmm, I'm wondering. Does it mean that we're not gonna see Gina anymore? I hope that we're gonna see her again. Okay. So I'm gonna end right there my session of binge watching of this show. I watched three episodes today and that was so great. And I'm gonna keep the two last ones for tomorrow. I'm gonna discover them tomorrow. I'm excited. This show, I'm into it since the episode three, even before that, I think, at the end of the episode two. But I saw that I got my feelings involved when I cried Ah, for Mal's friends. And I can see that I'm totally involved also with the characters, with the ships, but also with the characters. I care for them, I'm proud of them, and I'm into it, I'm into it, I'm into it. That's great. I cannot wait to be tomorrow, you know, to discover the two last episodes. For you, I don't know when it's gonna be, <laughs> you know, but at least for you and for me, it's all for today. So it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Crazy.